according to the experts, there's only one to three percent that will actually make it to the adult stage, like the flying stage. The ants, the spiders, uh, wasps, and there's all kinds, another dozen of uh, uh, predators, they're all after the eggs. We prefer to take the egg, bring it indoor into an enclosure, and give it a chance to become a butterfly. How many monarchs have you raised from eggs and released into the wild? Personally, uh, we did about 2,000 in the last three years, but I've been giving away many eggs and caterpillars to other members that have joined our Facebook group. I've been doing monarchs for about three years now, and I just found it remarkable to see this little critter crawling along the floor and then turning into something so beautiful in the end. I mean, the, yes, the farmers, they're doing what they can to give us food by doing their insecticides in that, and the butterflies are eating them and consequently killing the butterflies. So it's up to us to try and help rectify this and bring their numbers back. This year I released 125 plus. I lost about 50 or 60 due to some insect getting into the chrysalis. That really hurt and uh, I've got maybe about another 40 at home. Well, what do you think it is about monarchs in particular that make people fall in love with them so much? They're so delicate. Uh, they, they put up with all kinds of elements from Mother Nature, and they can take it. They, they're so beautiful, so graceful, so colorful. It's, it's like I said, once you start, you're not going to stop. My husband said, well, I don't think it's such a big deal. And then when he got here, he says, oh my God, he says, that many people are interested? I said, yeah. I said, it's, the, it's not a fad, just, it hooks you.